Hello crafty friends, it's Louise here. Welcome back to my channel, Create with Louise. And today we're going to look at a product, an embossing folder with stencils from the new seasonal catalogue from Close to My Heart, starting September the 1st. So this is the embossing folder and there's three stencils. And on the opposite page are samples. So today I'm going to do some different stents, um, designs and see what you think of those. We're going to use craft cardstock. You probably can't see it here. Let's see. On the embossing folders, I write one, two, three. It doesn't really matter what order, but then I know that it's uh, in the right up, right way up. I've gone ahead and embossed this piece. I'm using a my a new magnetic matte so I'm quite enjoying the fact that it my stencils aren't moving around so we're just going to line it up with those raised portions going to use candy apple exclusive inks these are water-based inks from close to my heart and um, blending brushes now this is going to give a soft look but that's the look I was going for rather than putting it on white cardstock And by making the piece a bit bigger underneath, it allows us room to go off the edge, somewhere to place our tape or magnets, whatever we're using, to hold our stencil in place. So this stencil is doing the berries and the poinsettias. Now I'm going to come in and just do a little bit darker in the centre. Okay. So that's our first layer. Just wipe it off. I wipe it off with my stamp chamois in between, then I don't forget and I'm not mixing up ink colours. Onto the second stencil, which has the branches and I'm not going to do the insides here today we'll just line up those branches
and so that I don't get the toffee ink, I'm going to use toffee, I can mask off with this low tack mint tape that we have. And then I'm not going to be concerned about getting ink where I don't want it. So using a sponge dauber, so I don't have small blending brushes, but it's quite fine in where these branches are. Then we just move our bits of tape around. And pressing down into it, it's going to, the cardstock's going to soak that ink up. And nearly finished. So it allows you to have different looks by selecting where you want to add ink. Okay, so I think that's all of the branches now if you don't have a stamp chamois you can also use some paper towel to clean off your stencils so now we're going on to the third one, so we're going to line up our holly and we're going to use a new colour that's coming out, jade. And a sponge dauber. And with the holly leaves, you know, they can be darker or lighter. It, the beauty of a stencil is doing that. So that you get variations of, of colour. I'm pressing more firmly into the stems and then much lighter into the holly leaves and then some of them you I might make that one a bit darker and it gives really nice variation to your card front background
I think I've oh, a couple more up here. Got the centers of the flowers. Okay. Now, you could leave it like this, it's really beautiful, but for Christmas, it's really nice to add some sparkle and shine. So, we're going to do some, use some gold embossing powders. And we'll use, go back to our stencils, and pop those down again. And we have these embossing ink pens. I'm using the medium. They come in a pack of three. So there's a brush tip, a broad tip, and this medium. And what we're going to do, I'll just feel like that's moved a bit. We're going to go on the inside and just trace around oh, before we do anything else. Before we do anything else, we're going to put some anti-static powder. Otherwise, we are going to have embossing powder all over the place where we don't want it. Let's start again. So I'm just going to do the poinsettia petals. I'll leave the berries. I, I could probably do a couple of berries as well. I'll just do the odd berries here and there. Embossing powder, I'm using Princess Gold embossing powder.
so there we've added some beautiful gold accents there still got a bit of gold but, but that's not too bad now I'm happy with that let's move on to the next background So for the next one, I'm not going to use the embossing folder. I'm just going to use the stencils. So with the, you know, you've got more texture when you're using the embossing folder. Now these can be bought separately, which is great. I like the fact that you can get them separately. Now, um, this time I'm just going to line it up with this corner. And it will be much the same as what I just did. So I can fast forward through all of this, seeing as you've seen it before. So you're going to get a different look when it's flatter. You don't need to line up with the raised edges on that. But I'm going to show you another way to add some sparkle instead of the embossing powder. So we'll get our stencil back and this time we're going to use a jelly roll, gold jelly roll pen and trace on the inside. We'll do the same again, the petals of the poinsettia.
Okay, so there complete our backgrounds. So it's a softer look. Look, I've missed one there. Beauty of it is we can come back. So, a softer look. I think we'll bring back our holly and we'll do around those holly as well. Okay, second background complete. So, so what I might show you that I'm going to add some more gold. I'm going to use these metallic paint markers. I've got the three millimeter one and I'm going to color in these white dots. so that I can add those as well. Then I can set them aside to, to dry. They dry pretty quick. And I'll be back with some um, cards, all the backgrounds made up. So I'm going to bring in a stamp set that I've used uh, design elements this is in the new book and mink ink and I just want to put a border around the outside Just, just subtle. Bit of masking tape for here. Okay. Now, I've also used, I'll put that to the side for my sentiment the holiday banner stamp and thin cuts so I've used that here so there's our backgrounds this one with a bit of more texture and the embossing powder and this one with the gold gel pen and these are the 
white dots that I painted with the paint marker. So I hope you've enjoyed these couple of techniques with this embossing folder plus the stencils. If you're new to my channel, I'd really like it if you subscribed and hit the like button. It really helps to grow my channel. And I hope to see you soon with some more new products from Close to My Heart. I will put these some still photos on my social so you can have a look at those and that all, will all be in the description below have a great day see you soon